thanks for joining me and checking out my little video on my sketchbook drawing that I'm doing here. A little fast process. Um, you already see a drawing that's been inked right away. It's just a, a brush pen with uh, permanent ink from Pentel or yeah, it's Pentel and uh, it's the one with the uh, the ink barrels inside that you can screw uh, screw in and screw out. The the one I have is I think it's Pentel. Yeah, it's a Pentel pocket brush. Uh, I love those those pens. Um, they're starting to get a little bit more pricey than when I was first really struggling with it and um, now if you want to spend 20 bucks you can get one and like a couple barrels per uh, package um, I love it because you can lay down such a variety of uh, strokes whether they're like thin lines to bold, fat, and you can have a variation in all in one stroke from thin to fat and then back to thin again on a curve or a, um, an action line, a weighted line, overlapping, that sort of thing. And so I wanted to also demonstrate how easy it is to create a drawing in your sketchbook and then to bust out some I mean whatever you like watercolor markers color pencils pastels anything and bring that sketch to life by laying down just a very simple value of colors and I think that's what I love so much about watercolors in um, conjunction with the brush pen is just, uh, it's just why not? The brush pen has such a nice line feel to it. It makes me feel like I'm drawing something for comics, I guess. It just has a nice flow to it and has a nice um, continuity to everything. And, um, uh, when you lay down a, a watercolor wash to it, it just it just brings the idea to life. And a lot of times the idea is I have not completed it in my head. It's anywhere from a dude on a on some sort of bike or a dude on a vehicle or a dude on a futuristic moped, right? Or what would motorized scooters look like in the future? You know, I mean, who wouldn't want to ride one of those things? It's, it looks like a lot of fun. And so I just kind of play with the idea of kind of like a, a, food, a food delivery service like DoorDash or Uber Eats kind of thing where in the future, people got to eat too, right? So it would be kind of cool to have these food delivery companies fight, fighting over fighting over territories, right? And like who can get to their their customer the fastest, and you know maybe maybe it's like a gang, right? Like a gang of like food delivery. Um, factions right like one has one territory the other has the other and they're constantly fighting over certain territories to, to deliver food I, don't, I get random thoughts and that's just kind of the thing when you when you draw in your sketchbook and you let yourself kind of just let this happen organically right and the more you do it the better you get at it the better brainstorming, the better drawing, the better idea of story, and just 
working out all these little tiny details and by the end of the year maybe you filled up a sketchbook or two or just slowly wrapping one up this sketchbook has been taking a while uh i've been doing a lot of different projects and you know life also kind of comes around and likes to put a a halt on certain things and what i really am trying to keep consistent is the sketchbook uh, brush pen and watercolor um practice you know i feel like that's one of the least things I can do to keep the skills up to par, right? And you can you do anything you want. There's no pressure. The painting that I do sometimes, I just feel like I get lost in it. And this, it's just so liberating. You don't have to wait for anything to dry as long as, uh, as like maybe like a whole painting or and they're fast, they're so fast. I think I can do these in like a, each drawing could probably take like 10 minutes really. And then if once you put the watercolor wash on there, uh, it's probably like another five, 10 minutes. So like in 20 minutes, you get a full colored sketch, which is awesome. It's the power of constant drawing. You get better and better every day. At least that's the goal. Thanks for watching.